That's me. I'm JP, and this is my latest adventure. Meet Zazu, my dream airplane I'm currently building in Johannesburg, South Africa. In two weeks from now, I'll be flying Zazu along with a dream team of adventurers on a record-setting flight across the Atlantic. Yep, you heard that right. A formation flight of three experimental light aircraft flying all the way from South Africa over the mid-Atlantic to America. The mission? The world's largest air show. EAA AirVenture is the absolute mecca of experimental aviation. We plan on flying all three sling high wings currently under construction to attend the show. After that, well, I'm just gonna keep going. I've got a whole world to explore out there and I'm gonna take you with. guys are artists. I can't thank Sabat and his crew enough for working so many late nights to get Zazu painted. I have less than seven days to get Zazu into an airworthy condition and nine days until the first flight. On top of that, I will need to do a minimum of 40 hours of phase one flight testing before we depart on our flight across the Atlantic. Flying an airplane like this across oceans is extremely dangerous. There is simply no room for error. If I fuck up, I die. So the pressure is on. You don't start a project like this without being an optimist. But optimists also tend to bite off more than they can chew. And right now, I'm on the brink of choking. So it's time to call in some help. Okay, this is gonna be terrible. Meet William. We go way back, dreaming of filmmaking adventures since high school. William is a talented filmmaker and I'm flying him out to South Africa to help me film this madness. He'll also be keeping me company while we fly to America. He's not a pilot, but he is in charge of the snacks and I have no doubt he will work his magic pie on the camera. Very productive day, a bit chaotic on the road right now. Plane's looking a lot more ready for the DAR. I'm quickly running to the airport to uh, pick up William. He's landing from New Zealand. I'm actually really excited. Like it's re-energized me. I was like half an hour ago, I was definitely deflated. Yeah, I'm excited to have my friend here. I'm excited to have some company and he, he's in for a hell of a culture shock. So I'm excited to see how he takes, uh, takes it all in. William's made it. He's exhausted, so we're gonna let him go to sleep and I'm gonna build, but pretty stoked. Yeah, no camera time with me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's 10.30, uh, everyone's left, it's just me. I've got a list of jobs that I'm gonna push through to finish. So there's some brackets for the pedals that need to go on. I need to bond this in with a bit of resin and then lay up some glass overhead, all the overhead panels, rivnuts nuts right around. But this is quite tricky, especially these, because there's a lot of alignment to do. We made huge progress today, even though it might not look like it. This is a really nice little manifold that, I think it was Jonathan, I think Jonathan drew this up. Really cool little design. So this just prevents that in, in heavy rainfall, you don't end up having water splash into the back. So that'll, that'll be really good. We're, uh, <laughs> every time I talk about this, my brain just fries. But yeah, we, we have to do an engine start on Wednesday. It's Monday right now, 10 p.m. Monday. I genuinely have spent hours staring at this thing. It's every corner of it. It is an extraordinary piece of engineering and I'm, I'm very excited to get to uh, breathe some life into it. And the best part is a bird decided to take a poop on it. And I'm pretty sure that's good luck. much done as I was hoping to. Um, I've actually run out of riv nuts, otherwise I would have kept going, but still got a lot done. Got the pedals 
finished. So they're completely done. This is bonded in and riveted as well as on the panel. So that's good, center console is in. And then, um, yeah, I managed to do these two. I'm actually really happy with the fit. I was gonna block the paint. I did it a little bit, but I'm gonna call it a night. I'm pretty tired. I feel like I did more. What else did I do? That might be it. That took me all night, but hey, got something done. Now it's time for bed. <laughs> Go unless there's some certainty from our side. From our side, it's yeah. for sure. We're certain. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. 69. What's serial number 69? What? Look at that registration. Is that 69? It's been re sprayed, it's yeah. 69. It's number 69 as well. Who remembers this plane? That's NDL for Zulu, the original Zazu. And it's also serial number 69. And this one's registration is November 669 Juliet Papa. That's so cool. <laughs> Leaflet, you're gonna be part of the party. I saw it. Oh, yeah, I told you. That's <laughs> I told freaking you. beautiful. I told you. Oh. Isn't it? So Leaflet, Stormed over one afternoon, showed up with some samples with this cream stitching that she found, and uh, I was sold. It's magic. My, it my entire interior is going to be black except this subtle little trim every now and then to just give a hint of the color scheme. So, huh. <laughs> I'm the one. What? So, we got a, a wild Sean there in his natural habitat inspecting my airplane. He just sneaks in and then he'll start doing his thing. The writing a little bit smaller and just this surface area. Yeah. Um, smaller diameter than we could probably... It's my airplane. Look at it. It's looking like an airplane. It's pretty surreal. As well as building our airplanes, we're also focused on the daunting task of preparing for the trip ahead. It's very unusual to fly these distances in this type of airplane. That means there's a whole lot of paperwork and flight planning that needs to be in order for us to fly from country to country. We also have a lot of survival preparation and training to do in case of an emergency landing out at sea. This is as real as it gets, so we're meeting at James's house to iron out the details. So here's the problem. We're in South Africa. That's a long way from North America. Linda and I intend to register our airplanes directly onto the FAA registry. This means we have to obtain all the relevant approvals to have our airworthiness inspection completed and obtain permission to complete our 40 hour phase one flight testing in a foreign country. This is an impossibly hard thing to accomplish and we're not even sure it's ever been done before. Matt, John and James have been absolute legends orchestrating this bureaucratic dance. And the entire trip hangs on the balance of this one decision. <laughs> well, I can tell you what, uh, we are not so confident that we're going to have the aeroplanes done. No, we are. Fuck it. <laughs> Mark, I'm confident. Is that a commitment? Okay. <laughs> there is no man in the world who can build an air, actually can design and build and fly an aeroplane as quickly as Mike can. So. Yeah. so just before I came here, I was watching the Sling 2 documentary of the Round the World flight. Yeah. And you guys were still drawing parts and building them and putting them on the airplane. <laughs> Inside of... Like three days before the first flight and departing. Mm. So we're fine. 
I feel yeah. like if there was yeah. ever a group of people that could do this. Then. So who wants to go via Saint Helena, and who wants to go so, via Capo Verde? Saint Helena. Saint Helena. <laughs> Look in the door, funny to say something. <laughs> <laughs> which which one is? I'll show you when my computer wins. comes back. Cap and Cap Verde. Cap Verde does have a bit of wins. But, the, but it will even even with a strong tailwind, it will only take us down to fifteen hours. Yeah. And and Saint Helena will, with no wind is fourteen hours. And there's cloud on Wednesday, and even thicker on Thursday. And then on Friday there's cloud, and then on Saturday there's cloud, and then on Sunday there's cloud, and it's on to the floor. So safety and weather-wise, the route to go is Cape Verde. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. You know what that means, eh? That means we're going to send Lena. <laughs> we're going to go to Cape Verde. <laughs> oh, and I don't think we need to do it tonight, but I think we should talk through, and maybe you should help us with it, um, a thing where we talk through if a plane goes down, what the, the plan is the ditch, basically. Because the, because the ditch, we've got to be able to get um, the right stuff out. And I think that you've got a new dry suit with warm stuff underneath. So in the last week. We'll practice. We'll do a session, yeah. So we're, we're, that, that's the whole, that's the trick. I mean, the, the trick is you practice. Yeah. Ten pencil things. You should go and shoot them outside right now. Just we should don't look. James. <laughs> James. 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 It's, it's probably James. a good idea James. only to go once you're outside. outside. Let's go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> zip opens here and then you gotta get your head sort so, of in do you have a pull james i do i do a cold gonna, pull we're gonna try <laughs> it out tonight well, winter so. johannesburg swimming pool without eating so all the gaskets off they quite kind of so uh we got <laughs> oh, look, so. so so my first impression is, is is that we made a good call it's here. a win yeah, yeah. My first impression is an absolute win. Yeah, okay. the accident and suffocate by okay. mistake. Yeah, yeah. Donning it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it happened to be across your face and you die. <laughs> That'd be the least dignifying way to be found. <laughs> yeah. It's inflating. Yeah, I, mine is. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> I can feel the pressure. I feel really good about this. I really do. So, $250 including shipping. Versus four thousand dollars and terrible customer service. So, if I can go to hell. <laughs> okay. it feels like a pre-skydive. Get to like yeah, organisation like, here. Go to pull the, the leg straps, and it's because the consequences could be quite negative. Between six of these, at the proper cost, these would have cost us like close to half a million rand. Yeah. And instead, they've cost us like 35,000 rand or something like that. Yeah. Before we get excited, let's go jump in there. <laughs> Okay, just over it. Yep. Are we ready to go, guys? Ready. One, two, three, let's go. <laughs> well, we float one. Well, <laughs> just check it out, man. That's I'm floating. I'm trying to work out because I'm getting wet on this. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> This is a good test. Yeah. This water is very cold. It's cold. <laughs> but look, the, the coating. What? So um, we have one issue. What's it? I screamed like a little girl when we jumped. <laughs> okay, guys, we've got to film it again. <laughs> <laughs> Someone do a flip this time. <laughs> so no, no leaks at all. So I far. I am an absolute coward. I hate cold water. Yeah. I'm a real wussy. I mean, when it comes to that. I'm impressed. But I, but I, could, yeah. I could hang out here for a couple of hours. How are you feeling? A okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope we don't have to use them for this purpose. <laughs> Hoodies and gloves in our grab bags. Yeah. I think that I would can, be a good Yeah, thing. like a nice neoprene hood. Yeah. And, and, yeah. 
What are you thinking about? Um, I'm trying to just kind of take it in. It's been, it's hectic right now. That's the, that's the only way to really summarize it. It's just go, 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 go. And um, yeah, this is the first time where I get to like be with the airplane and kind of take it all in. I felt a little bit like it's a shame that things are so busy because you know, it's a big deal. It's a big deal for someone my age to be in this position. It's a huge deal. And that's not a loss on me. Yes, I've worked extremely hard to put myself in this position, but there's also a great amount of gratitude going on right now. And yeah, it's important to take a moment to take it in. All right, jump. Not only did I do it again, but I put my Strava on and I gave it a good chunk. Nice. So let's see how far I've ridden here. Strava. He's going to put us to shame. 33.52 kilometers. No, no. One hour 20. That's what uh, we're going to ride here on Thursday. Tuesday. Yeah. Stop. Glad I'm on that e-bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that e-bike. Man, look at this thing. Beautiful, Gee, it begins right? to look like a proper airplane. Eh? I'm being a real little schoolboy and I'm going to pull it out for no reason other than... I just to look at it. <laughs> I'm going to stay that long then. Um, Do you see, so I've actually not seen it on her tail wheel yet. Neither have I. It's yeah. first time. First time it's actually on its wheels properly, so... Yeah. The Afrikaans would say this is purely for lack of the... For the pleasure of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the squeak of new tires. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is the it's worst the, day it's ever. It's a five second rule, it's isn't it? It's a five second rule, it's fine. <laughs> like this is a, it's absolutely fine. It's a price you gotta pay for. Have you had some of this cake earlier today? No, I actually, I'm gonna actually have a sandwich. Have a slice. I'll tell you oh, what, no. I consider this cake. It's Thank very you. rich, but it is the finest buddy cake around. Oh wow. Oh, it's so good. It's rare that you get to be this excited as an adult, you know? <laughs> Woohoo! Moving! <laughs> <laughs> A little bit faster than she'll fly. <laughs> ah, look at that. I think the single caliper is a little bit mm. break. But uh, I can always upgrade. Yeah, you can see it's fine. I don't think you need to. Well, you may not have as much control. Yeah. So you can't slow down as much. You just can't get yourself as slow. Yeah. Or you know what? You, you, you will just, you, you can, but you will put the tail down long before to sort of roll the wheel. On, yeah. and it, I mean what it won't do is it won't take off again like a lot of bad tail wheel landing. Yeah, yeah. There is a moment when an aeroplane flies though when it is it's like the equivalent for me of a birth of a human because it's when sort of it, it's when the physical turns to spirit you know. Yeah that and moment. then it starts making memories and it sort of starts being a part of people's lives you know. That it, it, it requires a personality. Mm. Yeah, it was fun. Tomorrow morning and then dinner tomorrow night. Sounds good. The engine will run in possibly tomorrow. Probably most likely Tuesday. Should fly on Friday. Yeah, crazy. It's getting there though. I think the craziest thing is that in 14 days we're going to be over the Atlantic Ocean in this airplane in 14 days They do. Are we doing yeah. it on the right wing there? Yeah, it was left on, so there's not much juice left. What are we about to do? We're about to fire up for the first time. And uh, I don't have my watch, but uh, it's today the third. So we leave in. The, the planned departure day was in seven days from now. Um, so 
that many days. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit bit later than I thought it would be, but I'm very excited. Like it's been a long time in the making, so look at the crowd we got as well. Yeah, it's pretty good. And it's freezing cold. Good. Yeah. Everybody ready? Ready! This main pump. of things that make Zazu special, but the best part is all the amazing people that have stepped up to make this dream of mine happen. It takes a small army and a relentless love for adventure to pull off a project like this in four months. There's a lot going on behind the scenes, a logistics masterclass by everyone at Sling, making sure I get all the parts in time and to make sure we're ready for all the required inspections. I'm in awe of all of you. It's a very particular smell, there's something, something special about it, when they get up to temperature. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the moment we're riding our bicycles tonight, so you see the moment I'm waiting for is when I'm sitting on the apron in Lanceria, waiting for my taxi instructions. The aeroplane is full of fuel. <laughs> I've got everything I need and we're going. <laughs> and so I feel, I, I thought about it and I felt exactly the same way. And I'm waiting for uh, the same feeling. But for me, it's going to come three and a half hours later when I'm <laughs> over the Caprivi. <laughs> about to <eat> and go. <laughs> I'm going to rephrase that. The moment my wheels leave the ground. As they leave the ground. <laughs> because it comes to sort of a point exactly where they can't put a barrier down in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> they got the handcuffs. You know? <laughs> Cheers. Bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. This is very nice. This is very nice. Even the text. Light as well, eh? Yeah, it's like a walk mm. You see? They are big. That place was crazy. <laughs> but we got good leather, eh? We got pretty good leather. Yeah, I'm we are excited. Uh, this is Lichle, everybody. She's the upholstery wizard at Sling. And uh, we just we came to the CBD in, in Johannesburg. To this obscure little place like I'll, I'll show you like it it doesn't look like anything <laughs> it's like a pretty sketchy drive to get here but my god that place had everything yeah. I can see why you love this place yeah it's a good spot yep. it's, it's for me it's like it's like putting a child in a candy shop yeah exactly. everything in one everything it's, it's a one-stop shop it is a one -stop so shop. I've got very unique leather for my plane it's gonna last me a lifetime I'm very, very excited about it. You guys are not ready to see what 
this is gonna look like when it's done. No, not at all. <laughs> it's gonna look amazing. I'm excited. See, if Lichle is excited, you know it's gonna be good. 